Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4 Create a Pet and today we are not actually going to be creating a pet but we are going to be making a couple new designs of foxes. Carrying on with our fox frenzy that we are currently doing in some of our uh, little special side adventures we're doing in Sims 4, I wanted to actually bring you guys some new colors of fox today because a lot of you were very adamant that there were only the red Red fox and then from the red fox oh my goodness look at all of these breeds you could have this color fox or you could end up with a black fox this is a black fox with its little white point on its tail you could have an arctic fox a lot of you guys consider this to be a gray fox but I also think it makes a really great representation of the look that arctic foxes actually take on during spring and summer so they blend in with the dirt around their environment but these are the four beautiful fur patterns patterns that are available when you want to begin the game as a fox, which as we talked about last time, Sims 4 actually treats as a dog. No, they are not dogs. <laughs> But they are very beautiful and I know we have a lot of fox fanatics in our ranks So I thought today it might be a lot of fun to experiment with some of the beautiful Colorations that foxes can come in and just as a little FYI not to get you guys down too much But to remind you the colorations we're going to be playing with the silver platinums the marbles and so many more Are actually the results of the fact that for a very long time these beautiful foxes were actually farmed for fur, kind of like people farm cows and they farm chickens. Foxes actually used to be farmed for fur and thankfully fur is not in anymore and a lot of people understand that that's just not very cool whatsoever. But the variations and the colors that you may see in a lot of pictures with exotic foxes that are like, whoa, that's not just a red and white fox. That's actually because they're from fox farms and the majority of fox farms only existed so that they could collect the fur and put it on your coat. <laughs> so not to get too sad, but I wanted to just educate you guys that that was a reality of fox life. And thankfully, times are changing and hopefully you guys will take a strong stance to do what you feel is right with that. Also, just a little disclaimer, a fox is not a pet, please. Not pet, not pet unless you're playing Sims 4. So if you too want to carry out all of the fox owning dreams that your heart desires, then definitely dive into Sims 4 and join me as we begin to make a few special beautiful coat colors for the foxes. We'll make quite a few new ones and then we're gonna see what their babies look like. So with all of that said, the one that we are going to be working on now is called the Silver Platinum Fox. We're gonna use the Arctic Fox as a base and we're gonna go ahead and create what is called the Silver Platinum. It is actually a recognized fur coloration. And then we're gonna make a few more and see what their beautiful babies could be.
Okay, guys, after consulting so many pictures across so many guides, I do believe this is going to be our call on the Platinum Fox. They definitely have very dark ears. They do have kind of dark circles and even a little dot around their eyes. A lot of them actually even happen to have small silver dots on their paws or on their nose. So I might add that on and we won't mirror it, but we might add that on just to give our little fox a little bit more personality but I have to say they are really beautiful the fact that they're kind of like dogs in the sense that they have been highly bred to achieve these colors is very interesting but again remember a lot of these foxes were bred because they were after their beautiful fur so if you think as well wow this is a gorgeous fox its fur is so pretty I wish I could have some please reconsider but on top of that, whoops, and we also need to have the mirroring back on. I'm kind of tweaking. There's dozens and dozens of pictures of what a a beautiful marbled fox would look like. And I'm kind of tweaking each one and taking a little bit from a whole bunch of them. So like on this marbled fox, he has very dark front legs and I kind of really like that, but it's just amazing the color variety that they can come in. And again, I really hope it does not encourage you to get your own fox, but now my friends, you don't need to. You can enjoy having foxes in The Sims 4. Isn't that amazing? Huzzah, huzzah. And I really love the marble coloring too. And this picture that I'm looking at for a marble fox right now actually has a few darker splotches and even a few spots throughout the coat. So I'm going to add a few more just little dots on the paws just because it seems to give a bit more personality and then we'll add in like maybe one or two more back there. And again, when I upload these, you guys can totally remove the spots if you want. I just think that's interesting to show that it wasn't like a completely perfect coat. And then finally, this particular fox also happens to have a darker base on the tail. And I think that's really interesting too, because it kind of is like a gradient where it goes from this really dark tail, kind of like reminiscent of the ears, down to a suddenly a really light tail and then the white end of the tail. So this is going to be our silver platinum fox. Actually, I may have said marbled, but we're about to make a marbled fox. I think it is quite lovely. I do think it is quite a pity. I, you, I could probably go off on a tangent about the fact that that shouldn't encourage you to get foxes, <laughs> please, and so many other things, but I really love it. And I just wanted to add a little bit more variety. So when you are having your fox kits inside of our game, you might have quite a variety to choose from. And the other one that I have actually fallen in love with happens to be the burgundy marble or the cross marble fox. So the marble variety of foxes come from Norwegian, uh, Nor like a Norwegian farm, and they usually have an entirely white body with just a stripe down the back instead. So we're going to go ahead and make a marbled variety of fox, and then we're going to see what the different types of fox kits would actually turn out to be.
All right, definitely not my best work. That was actually so much harder than I thought it would be. And I'm really noticing that foxes really have like very outlined, well-defined eyes. And this was actually very difficult to come up with a sunset glow red marble box because there are so many varieties of them. Basically, you can really mix and match quite a few of the basic layouts where you have mostly a white fox with certain certain very specific patches being red and call it uh, a sunset glow red fox. So there's a big variety in what they can come in, but I really think it's quite beautiful. There's a whole bunch of pictures of them. Unfortunately, they're very, very common in the animal trade as well. So again, Sims 4 animals, not real animals. And we're gonna go ahead and call this one red marble so that we know that it is a red marble fox, but I think it's very pretty as well. And, and so I'm really happy to have learned so much. This was actually a very educational experience for me to have learned so much about the different fox color morphs just in the red and the Arctic foxes. I did not know that there were so many. I wasn't aware that for centuries, the, uh, the fox farms were very active or that they came in such a huge variety. So this has been very educational for me, very fun. Um, a little bit humbling to be completely honest because I learned some things that, that definitely gave me some food for thought to say the least. But thankfully, we're in Sims. We don't have to worry too much about the fate of these little ones because they're adorable. They make adorable barking noises, by the way. Do you want to? Do you want to? Ah, that's so cute. See, he has a special fox voice. I'm going to give this one a really yappy voice. There we go. And so that would be our red marble fox. Again, just a general example of what they could come in. This one would be our beautiful silver platinum fox who I really am quite enchanted with if I am completely honest. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in, let's put in a, another fox. Oh my gosh, there's years. <laughs> we're just gonna have to have some plain old fun mixing up the breeds in the future. And let's pop over. We're just gonna get your, <laughs> no, you don't need a shirt on, dude. <laughs> it's okay, let's take the shirt off. We're gonna go ahead and grab your normal looking red fox as well. We're gonna make him quite the, we're gonna make him pretty vocal. Ah, that's so cute. Did you guys hear that? So this is going to be red fox, and then we have silver fox, and we have marble fox. And let's go ahead and see what kind of babies they would have. So red is going to be our boy, and then we're going to turn red marble and silver into our girls. And what would their babies look like? Let us find out. Dun 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 dun! Breed mixer! Why are you so tiny? Oh, because you don't have another parent. <laughs> That's why. Okay, so Red Fox. So if Red Fox and Silver had a child, this would apparently be their son. There we go. He grows up into a proper looking fox. So very interesting. You can see a few tiny little differences kind of with the nose maybe. The nose is a little bit more pinched. Let's see. Are we going to have any more, any more color variety or is it just going to be... I think that... Oh, the ears definitely change, which is very interesting. So it looks like heavily for the Sims 4 genetics on animals, it's going to rely on what you can expect to see in the breed colors. That's very important to remember, I think, for the future, you guys, because we would really love to see kind of like a mishmash of different traits, kind of like you do in Sims 3, where you can end up with this big mishmash of like, oh my gosh, look, this cat had like this color on him, and now he has this color on him. This actually comes through a little bit more I think this is okay. This is going to be kind of interesting. Not a lot of variety. We just kind of end up with a whole bunch of different types of foxes with different faces for their children. So let's go ahead and see what would it look like. Oh my. So this would, this is actually the already finished fox coat. So we're not really mishing and mashing the fox coats, unfortunately. So we're just kind of coming out, coming out with either one of the parents coats or coming out with, oh gosh, that's actually really pretty. Or coming out with very uh, specific like breeds, the very specific things that foxes might possibly have. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna get a huge variety, unfortunately, among them. But what if we went ahead and we actually mixed this fox with say another breed? So let's just pick a breed at random and try it out. What about a fox hound? What happens, once again, 
if you mix the fox and the hound. So let's go ahead and select this guy. Show me your child. Oh, wow. <gasps> wow, actually that turns out really cool looking. <gasps> and then totally normal looking. He could, he, he could hide his foxy past. All right, so you guys, if you're really looking to be able to enjoy playing with pet genetics, I honestly think you're gonna get a lot further if you go ahead and mix different breeds. Oh my goodness. Here, I think we can see a mix, finally, of some of the traits from both parents. That is so interesting. So that really seems to bring out the most. Mixing and matching two different breeds <gasps> Beautiful. Mixing and matching two different breeds seems to turn out results that you could just never expect. This, this beautiful daughter, I, I can't turn away from her. I need her in my life. I can't believe that we have made this beautiful, beautiful puppers. Uh, so there you go, guys. English foxhound and a red marble fox. Absolutely gorgeous baby. I cannot, what do you, I can't, I can't get rid of her. I can't get rid of her. She's too perfect. She's too perfect. Queen cupcake. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and we are going to keep, um, let's see, little mini. This is mini. So we're going to keep Minnie around for a little while, and then I will upload her along with these new foxes that I have made so that you guys can also enjoy being able to try out what it's like to have a silver fox and maybe a marble fox run around your Sims 4 world for a little bit of variety. And now you know the secret origins of Minnie Marble, the foxhound and marble fox crossbreed. Oh, that was so fun. All right, guys, we're going to be doing some more experiments. Don't worry. A lot of them are going to be far more lighthearted than this one moving forward in the future. And we do have quite a few foxy uh, special frenzy things popping up very soon. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.